This time I decided to use the BMW, I believe it's the M6. I'll see in just one second. See if I can uh, pull up the stream here. There we go. Got that pulled up. I had a uh, had a problem for some reason before I streamed the final GR4 race. My the game kind of like froze up, and I wasn't able to restart the PlayStation and get back in before the uh, race started. So wasn't able to stream the final GR4 race. I ended up just waiting until I uh, till it was time to do the GR3 races. But we're here now. Hopefully it won't freeze again. Hopefully it'll hold up. Uh, I don't know why that happened. The game froze on me yesterday, too, after I did the update, but it usually never does stuff like that. Uh, scroll over my settings real quick. Don't think there's anything I want to adjust. Maybe I want to bring just a little bit of the downforce off the front. Just a little bit. Lower this to like 15 and lower this to 25. The gearing can stay just as it is. Just adjust this. Just a couple here's. <clears throat> hey, you're back. Yes, you as well. I don't know what happened there, but it's really weird because the game froze on me yesterday too. It didn't go all black like that. I just couldn't do anything, couldn't scroll through the menus, and I had to restart the PlayStation to fix it. So I don't know why. Uh, I don't know if it's something to do since the update. I don't know if it's something wrong with the PS4 or what. So, yeah, I'm in the M6, BMW M6 GT3, uh, Walken Horst Motorsports Edition. I'm, I'm guessing that's what that says. Let's see. Yeah, Walken Horst Motorsport. Um, I don't remember if I've done a race in this before. I drove it a little bit before the we got into the race here, just in like the practice, and it seemed pretty good. I'm a big BMW fan myself, just personally. I mean, I like any European cars, but I really like BMWs, Audis, Mercedes. Never had a BMW. Uh, I used to work in a garage that did performance work on BMWs, like would do turbo builds and engine builds. Uh, basically build BMWs either for the street or track, whatever the person wanted. And uh, it was a pretty cool job while I worked there. Unfortunately, the place closed. But yeah, I've always wanted a BMW, never had one. One day, it's something I will treat myself with. What I'd really like is like a... Um... 3 Series track car, like an E36 or something, something that I can uh, take to the track and have some fun with. Whoops. I used to ride motorcycles. I may start riding again, but I got in a pretty bad accident in September that I'm still recovering from. And my family doesn't want me to ride bikes anymore. Um, but if I'm not going to be able to get my need for speed fulfilled with a motorcycle, I just might have to get myself a track car if I can uh, if I can afford it. Hopefully, sometime in uh, in my 30s, that'll be something I can uh, take part in. Hopefully, never know. Ever since I was a kid, though, racing has always been, like, my dream. Even just being a kid, 
uh, having go-karts and whatnot. I always had go-karts and uh, luckily lived in pretty cool neighborhoods where other kids had go-karts. We would race. Plus I would go to tracks all the time, use rental carts, and uh, just always loved it. Always wanted to get into uh, racing as an adult, you know, track days and whatnot, but it's a very expensive endeavor. Uh, of course I ended up getting into sim racing, obviously just because of my love for cars and racing and driving in general, but it's just not the same as, you know, being out there with the g-forces against your body and knowing that there's uh, consequences if you crash. Oh, that Corvette got a little sideways there. Oh, don't come over, buddy. Didn't want to hit him. So I got on the brakes kind of heavily. This car does have a tendency to slide out the back end when you're not expecting it. Oh, sorry, Vet. Didn't mean to bump you there. This car does have a tendency to slide out the back end when you least expect it. I can usually catch it, though, at least when I was in my qualifying little practice session I was able to catch it most of the time. I'm sorry dude I gotta go around you. You keep going off the track. Yeah well we just got, I'm not sure if you're talking about the same one, but Connecticut got that place that's supposed to be like the world's fastest indoor go-kart track, but I'm pretty sure it's in um, Montsville, I think, but the price, I'm, I'm pretty sure the price is crazy, and we have on track in Wallingford, but oh my god, is it expensive. I mean, really expensive. I think that's a place that, you know, a lot of corporate people go to for events that, you know, can spend a bunch of money for an outing like that, but for me to go ride go-karts for, you know, a few minutes, I can't, or not for a few minutes, you know, to get a decent amount of time, I can't be spending up in the triple digits just, oh, just for a, uh, you know, hour or so of fun. If I remember correctly, it was something like a certain number of laps or like five minutes or something for like 35 bucks when I looked a couple years ago at on track. But five minutes, you know, for, I'm pretty sure it was 35 bucks for the regular carts. And I'm, uh, I also think on track has a thing where if you get good enough of a time, you can go drive like faster parts. Mustang here. Staying uh, in front of me. Doesn't want anybody getting around him, apparently. Don't blame him. I was very surprised I drove one of those Mustangs in this game last night, and I was very surprised the GT3 Mustang does quite well, the GR3, whatever they call it. Oh, and both Mustangs went off the track at the same spot. Oh, come on, Seth. Don't lose it. Whew, this car likes to slide. Yes, that it does. This guy's all over the road. Alright, so he went off track. Hopefully I can stay ahead here. Build myself a little cushion between him and I. Although we got the straight coming up, so a lot of this is going to matter who's got the higher gearing. 
and uh, you know who can kind of pull through the draft faster. Don't bump me, buddy. All right. Right now it looks like. Well, no, no, he's actually coming up to me now. Go ahead around me, buddy. I'll let you on the outside. Man, that Mustang pulls. Come on, BMW. You can do it. Oh, come on. No, I'm not going to get around him, I don't think. got it. Looks like it's 8th position for me. That was a good little battle there for 8th place, though, or for 7th place. See what happens in the next race. So, two races left. I already did my workout goal. I did it early this morning because I was up late last night. Um, I was going to go to bed, but I ended up staying up and uh, seeing what the next workout car was going to be. It ended up being the Scirocco, which is a GR4 class car. I drove it and I didn't really like front wheel drive in that class. Too much understeer. I'll have to drive it a bit more and tune it, but... Alright, so let's see if it makes it to the next menu. Yes, it does. Or was it here where it locked out last time? Either way, we're in. So, I'm not sure if I'm going to go with the BMW or go with a different car this time. Let's, uh... Let's go with this BMW, or this uh, Mercedes right here. See how this does. Just do a uh, quick little, quick little blast in the uh, in the qualifying here. I won't do a full lap, but just a little bit, just to see how this car drives. See if I need to adjust anything. Just kind of jumping into these cars here without really setting them up. All right. <clears throat> see what we got here. Oh, it looks like I did make some adjustments on this, so perhaps it'll be... Perhaps it will be how I like it. This gotta be up, though. Let's try that. good so far. Feels like it's got decent grip. Let's see if I punch it, see if it slides out. It didn't slide out there. Let's see if I can get it to fishtail here. Okay. Just want to kind of get an idea of how the car controls. <clears throat> I cannot clear my throat tonight. Yeah, I hope you get in too, and I mean it would be cool because we could uh, 
well, hopefully we would get placed in the same rooms, but we could try and, uh, if we qualify for similar times, um, we would have a better chance of getting placed in the same rooms, but I hope you get into it too, because I, you know, the more people that play it, the better. The more people that can, uh, you know, notice things and give feedback and whatnot. And, I mean, the way I look at it is they should pretty much pick, if somebody signs up and their PSN account is linked to other Gran Turismo titles in the past, you know, GT6 or 5 or whatever, um, then they should be able to say, all right, well, this is obviously a Gran Turismo player. Let's give him a, you know, let's let him into the beta. But it seems to me like they don't even pay attention to the history of the account, they just kind of pick at random. Uh, I don't know if this is true, but it seems to me like that's what they do. I'm surprised this car didn't spin out there. It's pretty stable. I like this car. I think I drove this yesterday and I was liking it too, if I'm not mistaken. On, uh, Dragon Trail, was it? It's so nice not being blinded. So, yeah, so far so good. I'm liking this car. Let's see what that says there. Yeah, I uh, I heard the same thing. Well, apparently they, PlayStation just picked some some random PSNs at first, and they would just message the person on PlayStation, and tell them, hey, like we let you into the beta, and they didn't even have to sign up for it. Those were the people that got in right on the first day. Um, I didn't get in until I think one week after the beta had already started. Oh, why did I push exit? I was having fun there. So let's see if there's anything I want to adjust. I don't think so. I'm kind of liking the settings as they are. Pretty sure that's all the way down. Yeah, I'm going to leave it just as is. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But yeah, no, uh, apparently that's what they did. They picked random people at first and just sent them codes on, you know, messaged them on PlayStation, and then people who signed up, they would send an email and a thing on the PlayStation. You did finally get, get one, so you can, uh... It seems like it works if you apply multiple times then, because I was wondering about that myself, like if, if you apply again and again and again, if you have a better chance. I had a couple, uh, a couple of people ask, one of my friends was asking about that too the other day. Um, he was like, you know, you think if I, because he had signed it, signed up like five times, I guess. And he's like, you think it will make a difference? I was like, I don't know. And it makes sense because it seems like they just totally pick it at random. Oh, you still have them all for PlayStation and PS2? I don't have my old PS2 or PS1 games anymore. I don't have a PS1 anymore. I have a PS2 somewhere in my attic, but I don't have um, any of the older Gran Turismos. I only have 5, 6, and, you know, the beta that I'm playing here. I used to love doing the 24-hour races back in, uh, I believe it was Gran Turismo 3 on the PS2 that I would do the 24-hour races with my friends and I would have, you know, two friends over the house, usually two. We would each take turns doing six-hour shifts. And uh, that was so much fun. You know, at the age we were at back then, it was like, you know, an exciting thing to kind of stay up 24 hours playing uh, racing games. Alright, looks like we're about to uh, grid up here.
I really should be using a different steering wheel rim for this car since this car has you know a more formula type steering wheel but that's okay oh so you got all the systems that's awesome that is awesome yeah I uh, regret not saving you know the uh, the stuff I had back in the day all my systems I mean I had a uh, everything growing up from original Nintendo Super Nintendo I had a Sega Genesis I believe I had a Dreamcast PS1 PS2 PS3 I had an Xbox and an Xbox 360 never had an Xbox one and yeah I what I really miss the most to be quite honest is uh, Super Nintendo and original Nintendo I would love to have those again About a minute twenty left. Wow, I how am I? I don't understand. Oh, okay, so that can't be like the legitimate qualifying time, or like the legitimate qualifying position because I had a terrible qualifying time, like really bad. I don't even know when I did that. It must have been last night. Yeah. So I should be close to the back of the pack when it starts. When it finally lines us up. Yeah, the Xbox Scorpio, that's supposed to be nice. I was never much of an Xbox player. When I had Xbox Original and Xbox 360, I had gotten them years after they came out, um, kind of secondhand, and really I just got them to kind of tool around with but uh I've always been a big fan of PlayStation and Nintendo um I never personally had a Wii but my siblings had a Wii and we would all play it that was kind of like a family system all right 10 seconds to go Yeah, the Wii is fun, you know, I, I mean, it's been years since uh, since we used to play it, but I used to love, like, Wii bowling. I loved that. My brother liked, like, this archery thing. He got pretty good at it. Buddy, go. <laughs> he got hung up on the guardrail there. That's happened to me before. So frustrating. Oh, buddy, I didn't mean to bump you. I went to, meant to go to your left. I hit one of those wide fender flares, I think. Those Subarus are so darn wide. Come on, buddy. Don't bump into me here. Subi's going off the track. I've got this Aston in front of me. Aston Martin. V12 Advantage. We've got a car ghosting through me, I think, or at least they were. Now I'm ghosting through a car. I don't like how I can't anticipate when I'm going to ghost through a car. Like, sometimes the game's like, yeah, we're going to let you ghost. And then other times you think you're going to ghost, but no, you don't. You slam right into the person. Thank you for the good luck. I definitely need it. As you'll see, I'm, not, I'm no top driver in Gran Turismo. squeak around him. Ah, I shouldn't have slowed down that much. I should have had the balls to keep going. No balls.
Whoa, where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? Alright, I ghosted through them. We're ghosting through each other like ten times. Oh, come on, that guy's gotta get a speed penalty for that. No! No, Seth, what are you doing? Ah, oh, tragedy. What have you done? See, like, I kind of thought I should have ghosted through that Mustang there because he was going so slow, but no. But then I do ghost through him in the corner. Looks like those Mustangs just can't quite turn as well as uh, this Mercedes. He understeered into that wall there. All right, at least I'm in the single digits. That's something, right? Man, I just cannot get over how good the force feedback feels. Every little bump and every time the car skips over the pavement or, you know, weight comes on and off the front wheels, you just feel that steering wheel, like in the corner, just jerking all over the place. It feels amazing. It's like addictive. I just want to drive and feel the force feedback more and more. again off the track and I'm about to lose some positions if I don't get to this carousel fast hold the carousel don't lose it Seth all right one carousel down I know when I get to the second we're almost at the end position am I in? Seventh? I've got what looks to be... actually I'm not quite sure what kind of car that is coming up behind me. I was gonna say a GTR, but the GT3 GTR is blue. It's not the FT1, I don't believe. What is that? Mitsubishi? Or is it or is it a Nissan? I know the GTR GT3 that I have, the Schwartz whatever edition is blue. That certainly looks like either a Nissan or some kind of Mitsubishi front end. Like this section of track just feels so good. There's so many like little bumps and imperfections in the road that you can feel. No! <laughs> I just caught a tire off the track and went right around. Not all cars will do that too if you just get a tire off the track. Not all of them will spin right out like that, but this one will. Let's see how it does on the straightaway. It looks like 8th place is about the best I'm going to see today. 
hopefully this car behind me isn't able to draft too hard off of me. Give him a little swerve action. Now I'll go ahead and let him draft off me. It's the right thing to do. Go ahead. Go right around me, although I don't want to be on the outside in this corner. No, dude, you're going outside. Sorry. I didn't want to get stuck on the inside and then find out I was going to get knocked from the inside, or uh, the outside, excuse me. I hate going through the outside it's too wide around corners like that because it seems like the driver will always knock into you. Alright, so eighth place. Yeah, it is, that's for sure. A lot of the bends in Norwich Life are, are like, are tough. A lot of the sections. I remember how long it took me just to be able to like memorize most of this track but there's still like sections it's like you know the corner but there's still areas that it'll catch up on you like after you kind of there's like a high speed section and then you kind of come up a hill it's after the first high speed section basically you uh basically will get up close to top speed come up a hill go around that high speed left hander and then there's a right hander that you got to stop for and quite often I'll miss my breaking point for that right hander and go right into the sand. Or I'll keep too much speed through the left hander and go right off into the grass. How is Ride 2? I've never played one of the motorcycle simulators or motorcycle games. The only ones I've ever played are like arcade ones and I've thought about it but I just can't get past playing without motorcycle controls. But I guess it would still be quite cool. So why don't we go use something different this time. Try and think of a car that I don't use often. I could be daring and use this Ferrari, but I'm not confident it will do well. I can, uh, let's see. I would use this Peugeot but it doesn't allow me to use cockpit cam. I don't like this SLS AMG. Yeah, I'll have to try, I'll have to try one of the motorcycle games. I've thought about it, I just never ended up trying it. You know what, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, uh do I wanna use the Mustang? I really don't like Mustangs. Let's. Yeah, I know MXGP3 is coming out. Any preference on what car I should hop into? Because it don't matter to me. All right, I'll do the Ferrari. I can't promise I uh, can't promise I'll control this car through the race, but I don't know. I think I drove this car once. I don't remember how stable it is or if it's touchy. I know in other games, Ferraris can be tough to drive. They take some finesse. I like the RS1 too. Um, I think this is the. Is this the second or last race? I can't even remember. Where's my phone? Let's see what time it is. Oh, this is going to be the last race. Otherwise, I was going to say I would use that one next, but I've driven that car a bunch, that RSO one. It drives well. Uh, let me do a quick blast, see if there's anything I'm going to need to change. fast, that's for sure. My left paddle shifter is starting to get a little bit squeaky. My downshift paddle, I'm going to have to put a tiny little drop of oil on the hinge.
Do you guys use a uh, use a wheel when you play racing games? No, I can't move my seat. If well, if I can, I don't know how. But it uh, no, that option is not in this game. And I know it's in all PC simulators. And it's something that really bothers me. Not so much in this car because this car has a rear-facing camera. But there's a, a number of cars in this game that have no rear-facing camera and none of the mirrors are visible in the in the cockpit position, like in the default seated position. I can't adjust my field of view. I can't adjust the seats. It is... I know, I would really like there to be a way to adjust the seats, and I've looked everywhere. There's nothing I can find about seat adjustment. You have a G29? I haven't used the G29, oh, excuse me, I have used the G29, but only once. Um, I have used the G27, I owned a G27, ooh, went off the track there. I owned a G27, that was my very first wheel. First wheel that I actually used. I bought a wheel about a week before the G27, but it arrived broken and I never used it. That was a Ferrari F430 for speedback wheel. Thrust master, but yeah, the G29 um, is a good choice if you're on PS4. The wheel I'm using right now is emulating a G29, so the PlayStation thinks I'm on a G29, but I'm actually on a direct drive wheel. The force feedback is like shaking my old wheel deck. I'm using a direct drive wheel and I'm using it through uh, gimmick software, which is like a modification that allows you to use any wheel or controller you want, um, any input device or force feedback device on PlayStation 4. It's called Gimmicks, G I M X. I did another video showing my direct drive wheel working with GT Sport. It's actually amazing using a direct drive wheel with this game it's just it's i was saying before it's just the force feedback is just addicting how alive the wheel is and how much you feel uh so yeah if you look back in my video history you'll see that gt sport plus direct drive wheel video so i'm gonna have to bring my uh let me do that now actually i'm gonna have to bring my Transmission setting up a bit. Is it at default? No, so let's go up to. Let's try that. Hopefully, that won't be too much. And keep that there. Go to. Let's try that. Bring this down some. And bring that to there. I'm just kind of erroneously making some adjustments here. I usually like my rebound uh, one click higher than my compression. And. Go up to three. I'm gonna go with that. One second to spare. I'm actually pretty happy this is the last race. It is hot in this room, even with the windows open. And I can't turn the uh, AC on because it's ridiculously loud. I can tell it's going to be a fun summer if I uh, am making a lot of videos. 
I'm just gonna have to crank the AC before I make a video, leave all the windows shut, shades down so no sun gets in to heat it up, and hope it stays cool. Oh, you just, you use a, a gamepad. Yeah, I used a gamepad for a long time, too. It wasn't until I started seeing YouTube videos of guys with these crazy sim racing setups, and I, I just had to have it. Um, I don't, at this point in life, I don't, I've never been married, so I don't have a wife, um, and I'm single, so luckily, I don't have to, to worry about the, uh, the female side of things when it comes to making uh, frivolous purchases but I also you know don't make a huge amount of money so I don't uh, have an unlimited unlimited fund to buy every sim every piece of sim gear I wanted if I did I would have everything in fact I'd probably have a track car if uh, if I had money like that All right, so that's good. I got traction off. ABS mild. Course feedback at 50%. Sensitivity at 1. Why not go ahead and warm up while I have a minute? Doesn't look like anybody else is, but I will. Definitely feel the difference in downforce. hear my little brother in the other room. He must have just gotten here. He, uh, I live right next to, um, this, like, rec center thing where he has, he plays basketball. Uh, they have, like, these free shoot things there because, uh, he's on the basketball team in high school. So he usually comes over afterwards. I can hear him out there in the kitchen getting some food. He actually uh, streams some uh, gameplay videos too, but he more does like Battlefield and Call of Duty and you know other type, you know first-person shooters and whatnot. Not really racing games, but his uh, YouTube is Gbizzle. It's a small YouTube, just like mine. He just started it very recently, so he streams when he's you know not at school or playing basketball or whatever. Ooh, I'm getting hit from behind. Uh-uh. It's like that car is trying to spin me out. Don't unglow or unghost. That's another thing. I've had cars that'll be ghosted in front of me, and then all of a sudden they unghost right before I hit them. Hold that, hold that. Oh, I'm going all the way around. That was my fault. Entirely. This Ferrari's not bad though, it drives pretty well. A little less forgiving than the Mercedes, but that's to be expected. Oof, the front end just flies up. I definitely have to adjust the front versus rear downforce. Either put a little more in the front or less in the rear because as soon as I came up over that crest, the front end flies up and the rear end stays down. 
that was unnerving to say the least. It was actually a situation like that where I just ghosted through that car that was spinning out. A car was rolling back into the track like that, ghosted, and just before I got to it, it turned solid and I nailed it. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. I don't remember if I streamed that race or not. I'm sure it's somewhere amongst my streams. I think that is Spanish writing, but I don't speak Spanish, unfortunately. I am not bilingual. I only know English. Sometimes I don't even know English right. Staring. So yeah, I think I should have left a little bit more downforce on the front. force feedback all through here like through here the car you know is trying to grip through the corner but there's bumps so the tires skip off the pavement and every time they do the wheel loosens up and then when the tire regains contact with the pavement all of a sudden the wheel yanks it just feels so good you feel the wheel loosen up and yank hard loosen up and yank hard just uh, yeah, obviously it's happening so fast that the effect is just uh, Exhilarating. Don't go off the track here, Seth. Oh man, this car always sneaks up on me when I least expect it, I spin out. I'm donezo. There is no way I'm making up very many positions, if any, before the end of this race. Maybe I'll get ahead to number 12 there. This Ferrari would be a good car to drive more often though because it would definitely force me to improve my driving skills in this game because it's a challenging car to drive. At least more challenging, you know, than like the Mercedes or the Aston Martin. And I definitely liked it better with that bit of additional downforce. Oh, it's so squirrely. Now me and this Neeson is ghosting through each other. This last time too or the race before. What are you doing, Seth?
It's odd, too. Well, I, I wouldn't say it's odd, because I spend a lot more time in these other games, but if I get in a game like iRacing or R-Factor, you know, one of the PC-based sims that I play all the time, that I have been playing often for a couple years now, I don't uh, lose control or go off the track nearly as often. I have more confidence in my driving in those titles, but... I used to be that way in Gran Turismo 6, but when I started playing the beta, it had been well over a year since I had played the Gran Turismo series. And uh, while the physics, force feedback and everything in this game are very good, very close, especially force feedback wise, very close to what is found in games like Automobilista and whatnot, but it's still, you know different when you're used to a certain type of simulator. Well, that Ferrari hit that guardrail dead on. That sucks. Alright. Whew. My arms are tired. All that finish in third to last fourth to last oh yeah fourth to last <laughs> well that was a fun one I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, it is the weekend tomorrow tomorrow afternoon what do I have going on to be quite honest I am not exactly sure but if I'm not busy I'm gonna go ahead and stream um, I believe the races start earlier tomorrow, um, but I'm sure you guys will see if you're online or whatever. And yeah, so if I am able to to make it to my sim rig for the races tomorrow, I will absolutely stream them. If not, then Sunday for sure. But uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time.